Now let me show you the driving lesson what would happen. You'll be taken to a quiet road like this and if your clutch control isn't good, you'll be practicing this in a straight road. So you're going to first over the gas, handbrake is up, find the biting point, you're going to edge forward slowly. If it's slow, you're going to lift the clutch an inch, another inch. Let's just show you um, clutch control on a maneuver so practically you guys can see what it's like. So Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. You're with me, your fully qualified driving instructor. Now, in our previous videos, we showed you what clutch control is, how to have clutch control. In today's video, we're going to show you practically how to apply that clutch control. So hopefully, everything that we've taught you in our previous videos, you can apply it practically. So uh, make sure you watch it to the end. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It's only a button on your side, but it makes a big difference to our channel. And we really appreciate all the support that you guys give to us. Now let me show you the driving lesson what would happen. You'll be taken to a quiet road like this and if your clutch control isn't good, you'll be practicing this in a straight road. So you're going to first over the gas, handbrake is up, find the biting point, you're going to edge forward slowly. If it's slow, you're going to lift the clutch an inch, another inch and it's going to go fast, clutch down and then brake and then brake. Keep braking smoothly. Then you're going to do it again, handbrake goes back up, feet over to the gas, lift the clutch. You're not pressing the gas because we don't need it yet. A handbrake goes down, the car's moving gently, you're going to lift another inch, another inch, and it's going to move smoothly. Good, now clutch down and brake. Same with reverse, let me get to reverse. You're going to come on, and this time I'm not going to use the handbrake. Fall over to the gas, it's rolling forward, but let me lift the clutch gently. A little bit more. I'm going to hold it for a split second, let it get some momentum. It's going to move, it's moving, it's moving, and then clutch down and brake. Let's show you again. You're going to put the clutch down, lift. You're going to hold. Hamburger goes down. Car's already rolling. You're going to dip an inch and then brake if need be. Off the brake. Lift the clutch an inch. Inch by inch to move faster, a bit more higher. And then clutch down and then brake again. Okay. Same with reverse. Let me get to reverse. Off the brake. Lift the clutch an inch. Higher, higher, higher. Hold it. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Now you're going to slowly take off a bit more higher. If I take off fully, it's going to go really fast. Look, it's going really fast. So in order to control it, I'm going to brake and clutch down fully. But let me show you again. So you're going to, without taking the clutch off fully. So look, it's already rolling forward. So I'm going to lift an inch and hold it, hold it. It's moving. Let me lift another inch. It's going to move and dip it a little bit and then lift a little bit. And that's how you control the speed of the car just with the clutch. So as an instructor, as a fully qualified instructor, we would take our students to quiet roads like this and practice clutch control. And as a teacher, I really prioritize having good clutch control purely because you can then apply it on maneuvers, on steep roads, on junctions, on traffic light situations. So if you have really good clutch control, it just makes everything else a lot more easier. So as a teacher, as I said, we prioritize clutch control. Naturally, when you're driving, you're going to have to practically apply in every single situation. So you should build up to having a good clutch control but if you're slightly slacking and feel like you haven't got it thoroughly then definitely go to a quiet road like we just showed you and practice moving and stopping moving and stopping let's just show you um, clutch control on a maneuver so practically you guys can see what it's like so let's go I'm gonna make a hard we're gonna go to a hill so maybe this let's show you this one first so I'm gonna get into reverse Okay, six point check. If you look at my foot now, I want to lift it till the car shakes a bit. There. I'm going to put the handbrake down, but the car's moving slightly far. I'm going to lift an inch. So I wasn't fully there, that means. So there you go. Now it's moving slowly. If I lift it a bit too high, it's going to go really fast, which I don't want in a maneuver. Look over my shoulder. One left. So now I'm using the clutch. It's halfway roughly. If I dip it, it's rolling forward. If I lift it, uh, about halfway roughly, it says moving. As soon as it moves, I'm going to hold it. Yeah. So if I dip it a bit, it's going to look, it's rolling forward. If I lift an inch, there's it's moving back. If I lift it too high, it's going to go too fast. Okay. So look, up and down, up and down. But I don't want to keep doing up and down, up and down like this. So I'm just going to lift and hold it, just hold it. And it should go very slow. You just want it really slow. If it's too fast, just dip it a little bit. Okay, there we go. 
Again, the clutch is still halfway, roughly dip it down a little bit to slow down the speed. But now because we're going downhill, oh, it's not moving right now, so I'm going to have to get an inch, sorry. There it goes, moving, it's moving. Dip it down a little bit to reduce the speed. And another right. And we're coming in. And our clutch is fully done now because the dip of the road is making the car roll back. But lift a little bit more, it needs a bit more power. There we go. And I'm going to straighten up. Let's reverse back, so clutch a bit high, hold it, it's going to move, and this is how you're going to practice clutch control with your instructor, if it's really bad, go to a straight road like this, and you just feel it with your foot, like up and down, up and down, that way you get an idea of how to use the clutch, how much you need to lift, how much you need to dip it, if I lift it too high, then it's going really fast, dip it down a bit, but now it's got a bit of momentum, so I'm going to have to brake in order to reduce the speed a little bit more. Now my advice as a teacher is, when you're doing the manoeuvres, try to keep the car extremely slow. Now the reason why the manoeuvres are fairly difficult and why you need clutch control is, maybe the road surface isn't fully flat, you might have tilts to it, it might be going uphill, maybe the curvature of the road is tilted downwards or upwards etc. So, And also if you're slow, if you're slow, if you make any mistake, you're able to correct it. The slower you are with the manoeuvre, the examiners don't really care how long you take it because the manoeuvre itself shouldn't take too long, it shouldn't take more than a minute, more than two minutes even. But that's not going to hurt the examiner if you took two minutes, say, for example. Obviously, you can't be, like, stopping non-stop trying to do the manoeuvre. You have to do it. But the manoeuvre itself literally takes a couple of seconds to do. 30 seconds. If you go up to a minute or two, no problem. The examiner doesn't care. But the main thing is if you keep it slow with the clutch control, it will allow you to correct any mistakes that you make. Or maybe you forgot to do an observation. And because you're slow, you have that time to do that observation. Let's show you now practically how to drive on the road with clutch control. So we showed it to you with the manoeuvre. Okay, look, look. So, gear one, biting point. I'm not going to press the gas in this road, because we don't need it on this road. Six point check. Indicate. Press over the gas. Now, as I move, I don't really need it, but I'm going to press a bit, to sh just to show you. Look, as I lift the clutch, I'm going to lift, uh, lift the clutch. I'm going to press the gas gently. And then off the gas, clutch down gear two. Let me show you clutch control on a hill now. Let me show it to you. Okay, so the other thing to understand is when you're on a hill um, and you get to the biting point, it does help to press that little bit of gas. So if you press a little bit, it'll give you the extra power that you need to move off and it just gives you the added security not to stall and not to roll back. So look, let me get to the biting point. That's why I feel it. I'm going to tap the gas. There's my foot. I'm going to tap the gas a little bit. Do my checks, obviously. And then I'm going to put the handbrake down and the car hopefully should move. If it doesn't, lift the clutch another inch. And as I lift the clutch, I'm going to press the gas gently. Hopefully that was really informative and you guys were watching my feet as I was showing you the video. So that will give you a rough idea how to have clutch control practically on the road we showed you with the maneuvers on the hill slightly on the main road so watch it again thoroughly have a good idea and hopefully in your driving lessons or in your driving test you can apply it practically please don't forget guys i really appreciate all the support you guys show me don't forget to like share and subscribe subscribe for all the latest videos from your fully qualified driving instructor fm